Hey guys, this is Christiane LaFleur, your auto real estate professional. Today I would like to discuss buying a home in a seller's market. As I mentioned before, I work with a lot of first time home buyers and I can tell you lately there's a whole lot of them getting extremely nervous about entering the housing market. They're scared. Um, they're getting disappointed if they're putting in offers and they're not coming out as the winning buyer. So I'd like to discuss a few ways that you can help make your offer that much more more um, stronger in the eyes of a seller and just a few things too that you should do when you're looking at buying a home. So the first thing you should do to be completely honest is align yourself with a great realtor. As mentioned before you should really take the time to research three realtors, interview them and find someone that's a good fit for you. It's really important to find a full-time realtor because properties are going so quickly you need somebody that's looking at that real estate market daily and that knows the neighborhood that you're looking to buy in. Part-time realtors in this kind of a market just really won't cut it. Another thing to do is to make sure you have your pre-approval. So whether you go see your bank or whether you need a mortgage broker, just get some kind of a pre-approval and go through the whole process. Give them your notice of assessed assessments. Give them your pay stubs. Don't wait until you've put in an offer. What that gives you is the power of making a cash offer, sort of. You can put in an offer without the condition of financing, which really, really shows that you're serious, you're qualified to buy this home, and it's a really strong foot forward. Another thing you can do if you have the immediate money disposable is give a higher deposit and also include it with the offer. If your realtor goes to present the offer with you, presenting your offer with an actual deposit check sometimes is also something that can really put you uh, or give you that extra foot forward. And another thing too is be prepared for the worst. I know that sounds really bad, but it's my job as a realtor not to lie to you, but to be completely honest with you with how the market is right now. And I have to tell first-time buyers that you will be in competition. Unless you're looking for that fixer-upper home, then it may be on the market for a bit and you'll still have some negotiating power then. But I just sold a condo in Orleans. We had 32 showings, six offers, and we only picked one. The offers came in on each side of the spectrum. They were all different. Some had conditions, some didn't. Prices were all over the map. So you really have to be ready to put your best foot forward. And um, don't be scared. I know it's scary, but if you don't get that house that you're putting an offer on, be in the frame of mind that maybe this wasn't the right house for you and the right one will come along and when that house does pop up and you get it, that's the right fit. So don't get disappointed. Be patient. Maybe expand your search limits a little bit and look at your criteria and what's really important to you. Maybe that will give you a little bit more selection too. Um, I really invite you to visit my website, www.christianelafleur.com. It has a lot of helpful tips for buying your first home and the steps you should follow when you decide to uh, enter the world of home ownership. Or you can always call me directly to 613-859-0809. I would love to take 5-10 minutes and talk with you. If you have any questions or you're nervous, I'm always here to answer. Love to talk to you guys. Thank you so much. Bonne journée.